It's a weekly vlog slash activity. For today's vlog, I thought it'd be fun to do a challenge, basically to challenge myself, because no one's doing this challenge. If you recently saw my last vlog, you know I bought Piggy Pop. Piggy Pops are a silicone baking sheet that you can bake a lot of things in and I'm very excited about them. No one else is, but I am. <laughs> so I challenged myself to see if I could make a full day of eating, but in the shape of a pig. So we're gonna start with breakfast, do lunch, do dinner, and hopefully we're going to do a dessert because I think dessert's gonna be the easiest. But to do this challenge correctly, I think I need to get more in the piggy spirit. So first, gotta have my piggy coffee. And second, I need to get more in the piggy spirit with my clothing. So, what? You guys don't have a piggy outfit hanging out in your closet? Ready for the events like this? So first of all, I'd like to thank Haley Hansky for sending me this outfit. For this, not this occasion, just I had it. Like anyone else should. Second of all, Let's get into it and let's cook this breakfast. So the Piggy Pops did come with instructions, which was nice because I found out real quick that uh, you need cooking spray, which I mean, should have known that. Omelets. Let's do it. So as some of you guys might know, I do not like to cook and I can't cook at all. But when it comes to baking things, I actually like it or if you're cooking, I should put my knife down, it looks scary. Or if I'm cooking something that's like weird, such as the shape of a pig, gosh, it's fun and I like it. Other than that, it's boring. I'm trying to like think of ideas for lunch and for dinner. Lunch, lunch is a hard one. And I think I know what I'm doing for dinner, but I wanna surprise you guys with that one because <laughs> I bet you guys already know what it is. So I sauteed my onions and peppers off screen because that's boring to watch. Now I'm gonna shred some cheese. Wait, all of this could be boring to watch, so hopefully you're entertained. And then I started thinking like vegetable omelets are good with cheese, but I think I'm gonna cut up some ham. And stick with me, because ham omelets are also really good. So much cheese. Oh, oh crap, that's, yeah. Oh well, they're gonna be cheesy. I'm gonna mix everything in the bowl and then put them in the pigs. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do because that's what makes the most sense to me right now. Also, fun little fact, this little thing does say omelets, which is awesome, but they don't really tell you how many eggs. Yeah, no, they don't. So yeah, I landed on six eggs. So if for some odd reason you buy the piggy pans and uh, you wanna make omelets in them, if this works out, do six eggs. I know you guys are pretty surprised that I decided to do omelets since I eat eggs every single day. Also, I know you guys can't see this so I have to show you. Panzer has decided just to like hang out and help me all day. Right, Panzer? Are you helping mama make the piggies? Are you helping mama make the piggies? Can I kiss? Babies, that was a great kiss. Yeah, so she's here helping me, which I think is just adorable. So this is the situation we got. We got our eggs, we got our peppers, we got our cheese, we got our piggies. I gotta cut up ham. Oh, cooking is so much work. I don't know why people like it. Oh, okay, cutting up ham now. So that was like my first complaint of cooking, so I think we should like keep a tally. So one complaint so far, was that one? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've only complained one so far about cooking. But I'm gonna keep a tally for you guys cause you know your girl is not a chef, she doesn't cook. Mm -mm. I mean I do cook because I mean I have to eat food so I, I can survive, I'm a human. But like, I don't enjoy it. <gasps> oh no. You know what I just realized? I'm cooking in pig forms <laughs> and I'm dressed as a pig and I'm gonna eat ham. <sighs> oh well, <laughs> we'll go with it. Okay, I'm gonna mix all these things together and then we're gonna pour them in the pigs. Should I use a bigger uh, bowl? Yes, Fine. there goes the ham. Also, please, if you're a professional chef, don't come for me because I know I'm doing things wrong. 
Okay, that's all. Back to putting things in a bowl. Yeah, first. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's get, let's get some more. So I've decided to sprinkle the cheese on top. No. Yes. Yes. We'll sprinkle them on top. But first we have to spray. You guys thought I forgot. and like ah, this is hard I don't like it ah, why why do you keep doing this I don't know um yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna pause you guys and then I'll show you the finished film because yeah I don't want to embarrass myself anymore <laughs> okay welcome back now you guys can see the filled containers Tada! It did say six eggs, so yeah, Taylor can't read. Anyways, 15 minutes, so we're gonna start our pancakes. Oh man, I'm gonna have to wash those pans so many times today. <laughs> ah! Fun fact, this is my first cup of coffee in four days. I know, what? Taylor's going insane. Oh my God, I need to stop talking in third person. Ugh. Mix in bowl. Okay, milk. Oh, no, 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 no. This is half cup, this is full cup. Back in the, back in the container, back in the container, back in the container, let me see, back in the container. Half cup. The concentration is ginormous right now. Also, I didn't show you guys this. I have little piggy measuring cups for, well, not the occasion, just in life I have piggy measuring cups, so. <laughs> just whisking away. Gotta make sure it's all mixed up in nice. Mixed up in nice. Make sure you mix it all up. Ooh. Well, that was easy. So that's prepared and ready to go. Okay, I'll, I'm, I'm gonna pause you guys and, until the eggs are done. Okay, so the timer just went off and we are gonna add some cheese to these bad boys. Look at them over there, they're so cute. Let's add cheese. Just go sprinkle or just put on top some cheese on each one. How much is too much cheese? We don't know, slash, come on. Who doesn't like cheese, except for the lactose intolerant people out there? So my first thoughts of breakfast, of making them in the shape of pigs. First, it takes forever. So um, you really gotta like pigs. Shane Dawson, I'm looking at you, bro. I mean, me too, but you, you also, so. Uh. So the oven just beeped, got the pigs out, put them on a plate, and look! There's a few that came out like legit, a full pig face and everything. So I'm pretty, pretty happy. Ah, so I'm gonna pour the pancake mixture in after I respray the pans because I just washed them. And then I'm going to make the pancakes. And then I'm gonna finally eat breakfast. Yes. <laughs> okay, because I'm so impatient, like a impatient, impatient, I'm gonna eat some eggy pigs now. I wanted to show you guys this one though, because he like came out the best. He like literally is like, Look at him! Ah, he turned out so good! He's so good! <laughs> Look at the pancakes! Aww! I think they did! I mean, the little blueberry sort of dis dysfunctions it, but you know. He's cute! Aww! I will say this is like the most extra breakfast ever, but you know, it's good. It sort of looks like they're at war, but you know. Breakfast done! So it's a little bit later now and we're going to make our lunch, our <clears throat> lunch. I'm very excited about this one. We are doing like, basically like mini hot pockets with ham and cheese. So, but piggy shape. So let's get going with that one. So how I'm making these is I'm just using like a biscuit, like a 
pancake mix basically. And then I am going to cut some ham and I'm gonna shred some more cheese. I'm really bad at like measuring things, so it's always fun when I actually end up cooking stuff because it's like, oh, it calls for a cup. Okay, but do I really need a cup? So, ooh, gosh, cooking is such a mess. So like, I just keep adding things until it's like basically the right consistency, which I know is wrong and I should follow instructions, but you know, go with the flow, YOLO cooking life. So I'm gonna chop some ham up and shred some cheese and put a lot of work into these little tiny things for lunch. Ugh. Choppy choppy, choppy choppy. I was going the wrong way. I hope you have also caught on that this is not a tutorial and this is not a how-to because don't do what I do because whatever I do is probably wrong. I'm adding in the ham and the cheese into the batter this time because that's what the instructions say. So I am following the instructions if anyone asks. My arm's getting tired. I'm only on lunch. I'm too pig short. I don't know what happened there. Well, in the oven they go. Okay, just setting you guys up because my lunch just came out and I wanna do my little taste test for them. First of all, they came out just like a little piggy would, so that's good. Very fluffy. That's good, but it needs a dip. It needs like sour cream or like, or like pizza sauce would be really good. Like if you made these into like, um like pizza dunkers, pizza, oh, what are they called? They're not pizza dunkers, like cheese sticks, like um, rippable pizza parts, cheese bread. I guess it's just cheese bread. Definitely needs some dip. Okay, so for our last meal, we are making pigs in a blanket. I am a little tired. This is a very extra meal day for all of them and they're taking a lot more time. Yay, let's get started. Okay, so I ended up getting like the little turkey mini sausages. I mean, I sort of followed the instructions on this one because it, I'm not like chopping up big hot dogs and putting them in there. I got the tiny ones, so. That's the key, if the hot dog will fit. Ooh, get your guys' minds out of the gutter, come on. I almost forgot. Makes a lot of little doggies. Hmm. Next, we just have to pour in the batter. At least that's what the instructions say. So. I am literally the champ of overflowing these. Like, so bad. I'm gonna fill the rest of these to the best of my abilities, and I will show you them when I am done. See how they turn out and everything like that. Just a little update. My boyfriend reread the instructions with me. You're not supposed to put the wieners in first. You're supposed to do the batter. And then I made a mess already, cause well, who's not a good chef? Mommy's not a good chef. Hey, I heard that. Okay, so now I'm gonna put the little hot dogs in for our dinner, cause that's really exciting that we're on our third meal. And it's little tiny hot dogs, or pigs in a blanket. So now they're gonna go in. Here are the little pigs in a blanket. They turned out just as good as the omelet. They still have all their faces and all their little tails. So I'm super excited to try these pigs in a blanket for dinner and because basically that's meal three and I am done. Yes. So here is my little pig in a blanket. Need some ketchup, but it's good. Hey you guys, so it's a little bit later and I actually forgot that I had a secret piggy thing that I did really early on the day. So I'm gonna go get it and show you my piggy dessert. I thought I'd do a, a special course of dessertness of pigginess. Um, so I'm gonna take a break from editing because I'm editing right now and I'm going to go get my snack. 
I'm so sad. Ugh. So I was really excited because I made jello pickies for dessert, but after about five tries, I can't get the pigs out. So this is what they look like. And I literally just can't, you're supposed to just be able to pop them out. And like these I ripped out basically. They're just not, oh, no, see, he's still not popping out. He's like ripping as he comes out. So <laughs> that doesn't look like a piggy. <laughs> I even bought whipped cream for this. So I'm a little sad, but Jello is Jello. So it's still good. I'm still gonna eat it. So here's my final thoughts. The pig challenge, it's hard. Is it doable? Yes, you can. Is it the most extra thing in the entire world? It's, it's pretty high up on that level. If you love pigs, do it. Don't do jello. Yes, do pigs in the blankets. I would say also my second favorite would be the omelets. Is it a very high carb diet? Yes, because you need a lot of liquid to go in there to make anything in those. Did I complain a lot? Yes, I did a little bit. This challenge, I think I passed, succeeded, stomped on the ground, killed. Will I do it again? No. <laughs> so I challenge you to the piggy challenge. So to see if how many things you could eat in the shape of a pig in one day or try to eat all your mil meals in the shape of a pig. So thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope you liked it. It was more of like a challenge day vlog, not more of my like weekly dip vlogs or something like that. It's just something different I wanted to try out. I am going to probably get ready for bed and go to bed because I've been cooking pigs for too long. So I'll see you guys next week with another weekly vlog or daily vlog or maybe challenge or something fun like that. I hope you guys have a great night or rest of your day. <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. -bye.